Hello and welcome back to the Existence server. Now today I'm going to be working on a little shop, but I need to tell you a few things first because stuff's been happening. I've been away for a few days and I haven't had much chance to do any recording or keep up with things, so I just thought I'd show you around a little bit first, just a couple of quick updates. First things first, this guy is working like crazy. Now I know that we've taken at least half of this away already. We've already used half of these. So this guy is doing a really good job. This is working much better than I ever imagined. Oh, thank you, carrot, glitching through the glass. This is working exceptionally well. I mean, watch this guy, look at that. That's just amazing. He fills up his inventory as soon as it grows. Plants, 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 empties his in inventory. That's it, job done. So yeah, he's doing a really good job. So we've got plenty of carrots. Now we've got plenty of carrots. What goes with carrots? Have a think, put your guesses down in the comments. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, I'll tell you what goes with carrots, and that's gold. Mad Cat and I have been working on a little thing over here, and when I say Mad Cat and I, I really just mean Mad Cat. He's been, <laughs> it was kind of a project that we're going to do together, and it's something which I've kind of been helping out with where I can and when I can. Um, but I've just not had much time in the last week or so, but Mad Cat has actually built up this thing and it's absolutely amazing. It is working fantastically. So let's go for a little run. We sort of put it out the back over here. Maybe an ender pearl over there would help. Let's see if we can get ahead. Whoops, straight into a wall. Um, yeah, like that. That should get me there. Where am I? Uh, orientation. Yeah, there it is. So this is Mad Cat's farm. And this is basically a uh, never... Um, mob farm for want of a better way of putting it this just deals with the mobs coming from the nether so you get plenty of gold from this plenty of ron flesh you also get quite a lot of gas tears and some gunpowder not to mention some magma cream as well let's go down and have a look at how this is doing um, but this is basically based on the reworks um, over overload farm I think it's called I can't remember um, but basically that is a absolutely massively overpowered farm where you have loads and loads of portals in the nether and as soon as things get spawned in they get taken to the overworld and dealt with in the overworld and that's exactly what this is doing um, let's have a little look in so yeah you can see that up there let's jump up there so this is the killing floor the mobs come through the portal up there drop down die down here and then you can hear yeah, you can just hear that minecart going underneath. And that's collecting up all of the drops and filtering them into a sorter, which is down here. Okay, so we've already taken out a load of gold. This is some more gold that's come through, so Mad Cat's farm is working like crazy. But here is another thing. This is a side effect. Now, I saw these and I thought, these must be nuggets, iron nuggets. And I wondered why on earth we had so many iron nuggets. But they're not, they're gas tears. So that actually means that gas tears are now not a thing you know we've got dozens of them so many of them right there we can do whatever we want with gas tears and then a little bit more gunpowder as well just stuff going on lots of stuff going on i don't know what's going on down here oh look at that oh more golden carrots this must be his sort of bulk crafting area all organized and what's down there rotten flesh yeah i was thinking of getting a villager down here just to do some of the trading with the rotten flesh because that's not a bad trade and it's free of charge and all that kind of thing so yeah that's what mad cat has been doing and i've kind of been helping him a little bit with that but what i'm going to work on today is actually building a shop for these items to be sold in and i kind of wanted the shop to be quite fun a little bit different so we're going to make it into a vending machine so you put a diamond in the top and your 32 carrots are going to come out the bottom or however many carrots we decide in the end. I think 32 is fair. Uh, because, you know, half a stack. We've got quite a few stacks. We've got a few things going on. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be going over to the shopping area and building this vending machine up. I'm going to find a little location that looks nice and put it in place. And here we go. This is the first batch of stock ready to go into the shop. Now you're ready for this. Look at all those. That is a huge amount of carrots. That is going to keep us going for days. And we've decided to call them garrets. Like golden carrot. You see what we did there? Garrets. Or good rot, as you might get it in Norwegian. <laughs> um, but yeah, golden carrots. And 
we've got it into a shulker chest there, a shulker box, so that we can just load them in really quickly and easily. And then job done. Sort of load them up a whole chest at a time, take no time at all. So I've already been and collected all the resources for this build, and everything that I'm going to need is in this project box right here. Ta-da! Very, very simple. Doesn't take much. And I've also got some acacia wood as well because I want to make it look nice. And on the way over, I'm going to grab some leaf blocks as well. So I need to find my shears. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I think they're in this one. Nope. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do I have a toolbox now? Did I create myself a toolbox? I can't remember. No, no, yellow, no. Okay, I'm going to find my shears. I think I've left them somewhere, not too far away. Yeah, there's some shears. Great, we'll have those. And this guy here, this is Bob. This is my new addition to my base. Since Madcap was building um, the portals on the other side, things got connected up in all sorts of weird ways, and this guy just popped over into my base. So I'm keeping him. I've called him Bob. He's staying here forever now. This is my friend Bob. And look, it's like a trampoline. If, if he gets me from... Oh, so. Whee! Oh no, that wasn't good. That wasn't what I wanted. So, yeah. We've been doing stuff between episodes. Right, let's get some stuff together. Go over and start building this thing. <laughs> I literally just pressed the record button and Duo just comes creeping round from the corner and starts looking at me. Kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, this is where we're going to build the shop, right here. So, I think, let's see, what do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Five wide. Now, the question is, do I go really close up to the head on the left, or go a little bit more central? Um, I, ooh, let's see, I think sort of, I think a little bit more central. So I'm going to build it sort of here-ish, and I want it to come right up to the front. So, let's see. If I do... Actually, if I just build it right here, so this is where it's going to be. This is where the main chest is going to be. So let's get my project stuff out, and just lay that down. Kind of want it close, but maybe not that close in case something comes up and creepers me. For example, a ninja creeper might just catch me out whilst I'm building this. So I don't want it to blast that as well whilst I'm at it. Now, what have I got? Let's get my chests. So the first thing is I'm going to want a double chest here. And then I'm going to have to clear out this area a little bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Lots of space below. So, yeah, I guess I'll fill that in as I go, because I need a too deep area down here, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be nice and clean back here. I'm never, I don't actually like it when these hollow areas are left behind from landscape, and I like the landscape to be filled in properly like that, even if it's just with junk blocks, you know, but, you know, it should be done properly. Okay, so that's where it's going to go. We're going to have that there, and grab that one out, and then grab that one out. Okay, and we're back. So, this is kind of the shape of things that I need to go with. Um, now, I think I need rid of that one and that one, and I'm going to have to put something in there and sneakily come in from the front there to do this properly. So, let's get a torch on the underside of that. And just put that in there. So that's that one lit. Now, let's just get all of these things in my inventory somewhere, somehow. Because I'm going to be using everything there. I'm going to leave the diamonds there for a few more minutes. Because I don't really need those until I've set up the next step. Now, the dropper is going to go there. Because that's going to put the items into the chest itself. Now, let's see, like that, and uh, then like that. I'm doing all this from memory, guys, so <laughs> I'm probably going to make a mistake somewhere along the line. Like that, and... Ba, ba, ba. I'm not going to be able to do this in any easy way, so let's just do that. Oh, I need some different blocks, so 
Let's start using the acacia. I don't know why I started using dirt. Dirt is horrible. I shouldn't be using dirt for building this. I should definitely be using the acacia right from square one. So, that onto there. That onto there. And then we're going to go... Doo -doo -doo, I think like that. Like that. And then... Like that. And we're going to have redstone over the top of that. Like that. Compare it to here. Let's just put that in. Right, so that's the shape of it. Actually, what I need here is I need to replace that with another dropper. Because I changed my design slightly. Because I figured you don't actually need that much storage for diamonds. You know, when you're selling things, you don't need that much storage for diamonds. You just need a little bit of storage. And I think that's going to be enough. And that's going to save me having to curl things round in slightly weird ways. So, let's see. Like this. So, I'm going to have that going into there. And then that up here. Let's see. I need some junk blocks to jump around on. And do this with. So, that going into there yeah and then what then what guys what am I meant to do now I can't remember so <laughs> I think like that yeah right so this is going to be I mean it's kind of simple what's going on here this is obviously an item filter so this is going to make sure that we only get diamonds through and we never get any other rubbish that we don't want so, is that active now? Yeah, that's active now. So, let's get the diamonds and put them in place. So, we want the 19 diamonds and I want four blocks or four things. One, two, three, four. That'll do nicely. So, let's get these in the filter ready. One, two, three, four. So, I want those lined up over there and then I want to get those into there. Okay? So, that is my filter all set up. This won't accept anything but diamonds now. So anybody puts anything in there, it's not going to work. It's just going to take the diamonds. So the diamonds will flow through there. And then they'll make it to here. When it gets a, a surge of power, it'll make whatever's in there get pushed into there. Okay? Pretty simple stuff, really. So let's get a hopper on there. And then let's see if I can find an ender chest. Somebody got an ender chest around here? This peach pie's got an ender chest. Yeah, let's grab out. Oh, I've, I've got it on me. How silly. How silly of me. Okay. So let's go put this in place. So shulker box can go straight onto there. Okay. So that's going to filter the items into the dropper there, but the dropper's not going to get powered until I put a diamond in there. So that makes sense. That's pretty simple. That would do okay if I was just going to do a one-for-one -one exchange, but I'm not going to do a one-for-one -one exchange. I'm going to do something slightly different. So from here... Yeah. <laughs> trying to remember, trying to remember... Um, so I can put these in here because I know that's okay. And then I'm going to have a solid block there. I'm going to have a solid block there. Actually, let's take these back out. Put in the acacia again. And I can't leave that in there if I'm doing it like this. I've got to do this properly. Let's get the repeater back into place there. And then we're going to have a comparator right here. And then two redstone dust here and here. Okay, so do I need to take this back a little bit further? I think I do. I think I've got to knock this back just a little bit further. Okay, so I'm going to get my piston and I'm going to place that down there like this. And I'm going to place the redstone right there. Now in this one, I want to place... Um, whoops, that was silly. <laughs> They've gone over there. I need to get 24 items. So let's get that. One more. Lovely. So one, two. So we're going to put those into there. 
that's going to flow back and forth for a bit. Let's get some more acacia blocks on the go. And we're going to put those down here, like this. We're going to have some redstone running across there like that, and a comparator right here facing into that block. Okay, let's take that out. Let's put that in there. And what else do I need? That's not quite it, because I need to take those two out. And I might as well just tidy this up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more so it's done properly. Let's get my last redstone torch, and that one goes on there. Now that's going to power this. This is going to be my clock. Now, next up, what do I need? I need to take that one. Oh, no, no, not that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I can take that one out. That's fine because it's not going to harm anything. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. So I've got one comparator, two comparators. You in there? Yep, great. And then three redstone dust, one, two, three, like that. And I think that one goes on subtract. I need to test that. Okay, so the idea is that this is ready to use when both of the lights are on. So when the light on the left is off, it means that um, it's, in, it's working still. So you can only do one item at a time. So the items are ready when this one comes back on, right now. Another 32. Fantastic. And it's ready to use again when that one comes back on. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat. I think that's pretty neat. Let's get another one in there. Lights go off. Stuff is happening. It's working. Are my items ready yet? Yes, my items are ready. Thank you very much. And is it ready to use again? pretty soon it's a little bit slow that's pretty good i'm pleased with that i'm very very pleased with that so i'm going to put those back in there and now the next job is to kind of make this look a bit prettier make it look like a bit of something okay so that is it i'm not very happy with the fronds at the top i'm going to do a little bit of work in a creative world and just see what i can come up with that's kind of straightforward to do or i'm going to find lots of green wool uh mad cat thankfully lent me the green wool for this but banners are kind of expensive i very rarely use them but the banners are kind of expensive um so yeah this is the machine i've written up some signs so one diamond at a time no change given do not put two diamonds in here you will only get 32 carrots at a time so you'll see what i mean in a moment so only use when this lamp is lit items dispense below and items are ready when this lamp is lit okay so there is nothing in there I'm going to go up into there. I'm going to put my diamond in place. The lights go off. So it's working. So whilst this light is off, do not put any more diamonds in there. Do not use this machine in any other way. So the items are ready now. So there's my 32 carrots. It's working on resetting. And it'll be ready any moment. And we're done. Great. Ready for another dispensing. So off you go. And we're going to get another 32 carrots from this. 32 items every single time. Absolutely fantastic. And there we are. So, that's all I've got time for today. But, first of all, just a quick thank you to Iso and Sean. Let's take some armour off. Iso and Sean, who actually fixed up the server last night. Um, we had a bit of a problem. And I'll tell you exactly why we had a problem. We had a problem because of boat-based launchers. Now, something went wrong. There was one in the end. It exploded. They multiplied. There was thousands and thousands of entities in the end. The server crashed. Everything crashed. It was unplayable. But they managed to get in there and get it all sorted. And thanks to them, we are still in existence. That was a very close call. We nearly lost existence for a moment. So, <laughs> thanks to those two, Iso and Sean, for actually getting that fixed up. And they spent a lot of time fixing it, so thank you again. Okay, so, just to say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like. And if you want to see how to build this thing behind me, I'm going to do a little tutorial. And that will be linked up in the end screen, which you'll be seeing about now. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!